Okay. Who wants to see correct solutions? Best. Yay. All right. So I know you guys have been complaining. No, not me. About no. these problems. <laughs> And whenever I give you problems that are just like black to play, you guys bitch and moan, and you're like, I don't know what I'm doing, this is too much like a real game. <laughs> I don't really care. It is like a real game, that's why you should do that as a problem. It's like you're playing 12 games all at the same time. What's better than that? Nothing. That's it. So, this first one, again, these are all black to play, we're calling this today Magic Shapes. So, how, do, how does black make shape here? What's problem or solution uh, should black determine and come up with? So black is so disconnected. Black would like to not be disconnected. Black would like to not die. Should have been kind of obvious. Hopefully this was an easier one to see. So how does black not die? If we just connect this stone, do we die? Yes. Show me how to die. Uh, in that There's case, we don't necessarily die. <laughs> Now what? We can't play here. This black plays there. So, what needs to play here? Now we're kind of dead. Because, obviously, if we do this, white has this super cool move to kill us. So, connecting is bad because white just does this and kills us anyway. Let's make a better shape. A magical shape. <laughs> What is a shape that will keep us all connected? Play there. Spot white played looked yeah. pretty good. The spot white played looked pretty good. How about right here? That's a pretty magical shape, I tell you. So, if white takes a stone, where do we play? Underneath. Yeah, we just block here. And it turns out there's actually no cuts here. Even if white just plays it all out, there's nothing white can do. Even if white tries this very violent looking thing, it's actually just dead. Yeah, Tari and dies. <laughs> so, wasn't that magical? Let's go back. It's magical. The thing is, you guys, when, when I was putting these problems out, you guys told me you wanted like really magical moves. And there it is. And then you proceeded to just claim that these problems were too hard and they were like too much like a real game and you moaned about it. You were trying to tell us that these ones were the easy ones. <laughs> easier. <laughs> easier. This one is easier, right? Yeah, that one was. Those ones are. <laughs> it goes up pretty quickly. But still, I think this is probably the easiest problem here. So if you didn't get this, that's okay. <laughs> that's, just, that's just how much there is to know about Go. But yeah, if you if you read this out, you just realize that you can let white take that stone as long as you have a stone there. Mm -hmm. Totally not an issue. Yeah. And again, white, there's just no cut anywhere. Like Whatever white tries to cut, white just ends up in Atari on these four stones. So, no cuts. All right, let's look at the next one that you guys whined about a lot. What? It's only six stones. It's a good one. This is, this is, this is actually Joseki. Like, this is actually part of a Joseki kind of sequence. Um, it's a little bit weird, but uh, what is what what is Black trying to do here? Break up the two groups. Say that again. Break up the two groups. Uh, if if he could cut through the two white groups, that'd be fantastic, right? Okay. He can't actually cut through them. Use his strength for profit. But he can he can tr he can basically use the threat of cutting through them to get something. So what could he get? Seal white in. Yeah, seal white in would be fantastic, wouldn't it? How do we do that, Larry? Oh, I don't come up with the answers. I just come up with this. Okay. Well, well that's halfway there, though. <laughs> How about this one? Yeah, there's actually a shape point right here. Cutting across here. This is a really good sacrifice because after white cuts through here and you cut back, we've actually just taken these three white stones and given them exactly three liberties to work with. Three stones for three liberties is not a lot. Okay? Furthermore, that's compounded by the fact that our stone already has two. So, like, if our stone gets one more liberty, we just kill white. Uh, and we have moves like this that actually just kill white directly if white doesn't play again. So, if white was to try to extend outward, or just white's is dead. This just dies. Three to two in our favor. Uh, so, white has to come back and play a move like this to capture our stone. All right, what's next? Which one? Yeah, take the outside. Forcing. 
White can either take or play down here. Probably better in this case to play down here. Black to play. Connect. Which way? Uh, this looks good. This is the better way, yes. And even though we're leaving a cut behind here, actually, this actually isn't a very serious cut because we can deal with it with a loose net ladder thing. And furthermore, uh, there's still actually a lot of Aji in this corner for white. So not only have we completely sealed off white from the center of the board, we've actually, imp this cut is very strong, or this cut is very um, hard to cut for white, I should say, because we can immediately capture it. And we have all these fun Aji points in here. They just make white super sad later. Like super duper sad. Unbelievably sad. So, you know, if you create a weak shape for your opponent and a strong sh shape for yourselves, like that's the type of thing we're looking for in these moves. Cool sequence? All right, next board. I know there are too many of you tonight, which makes it hard to look at these boards, so uh, wear better deodorant. That's my, that's my <laughs> professional advice. When you come to this class, yes, wear good deodorant. So you can crap around these boards. All right, this one's also Joseki. I showed a few of you the actual Joseki sequence, like how we got there. Uh, does anyone remember it, who I showed? Michael, give it a shot. See if you can get into that, into that position. Yes? Yes? Yes. Yes. Indeed. Very good. Boom, Joseki, this is the problem. So it's not even a problem, right? It's Joseki. But it turns out some Joseki are hard. <laughs> and this is a hard one. So, can we make these two stones live? Yes, let's do it. Uh, we can cut here, play here, probably play here. Yeah. We could even play here again. Let's do it just for illustrator purposes. I know that's what the folks at home who are watching this on the camera are thinking. Atari again, Atari again. <laughs> if you take one Atari, two is better. Boom, we made a live group in the corner. And However, <laughs> not uh, just those two black stones just die like instantly in this variation. So who got the better deal? Black got a whole corner, right? I have like four, five points. Yeah, it's about five points. Yeah. Meanwhile, white got at least four points plus the outside. So this is not good for black. Believe it or not, even though we got the corner. Okay. So if we just actually make those corner stones live, it's not good enough. What do we want to do instead? Wouldn't you want to take the outside? How do we take the outside? <clears throat> How about Atari? <laughs> no is the correct answer, but we're going to do it anyway. Because these are all sente, right? Atari sente, descend is sente. And then boom, we can attack this white stone and say, we win it, go. You know where white plays here, though? It's right there? Yeah. Uh, you could yeah. play this. I think this is stronger. So, yeah, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Because <laughs> even though we're attacking white, we're not really attacking white. And these four black stones are actually in big trouble. So, on a scale of like 1 to 10, how good is that result for black? It's like a three and a half. I agree with that. It's pretty good. I like three and a half. It's a three and a half. <laughs> Not all of our stones are dead, so it's better than zero. We didn't kill anything, so it's worse than ten. Beautiful. Three and a half. All right, better idea. Need a better idea. This isn't there. Better way to use this Aji. Is that up to the peep? Stone? Peep? Yeah. Like here? Yeah. White does this. Yeah. We're in the same position. And then you play here? Oh, yeah. And now I place here. Looks familiar. You, sir, are a three and a half. <laughs> it's a good idea. It's a good idea, but it actually doesn't change anything. Matt? Please. This is the it. one I think we looked at, if I'm correct. That's a nice looking move. So many of these shape problems are about running stones together. 
especially your opponent's stone, so you can play right in the key point in between them. And so it's, you're basically creating a key point. Didn't we start with that move? I don't know what you started with. I don't know. You're, you're, oh, you're on your own. Some of you guys want to play here, right? You guys felt like this was a kind of a key point, mm -hmm. right? Because it sort of threatens this cut and it, and it you know, attacks that stone. But wouldn't you, but this isn't really like violent, <laughs> right? You're only really, like, like white can deal with this. Like white's okay. You know, white just connects here if you come on top. Uh, white could actually just run away. And then if black doesn't connect right now, white can connect later. And if black disconnects, white turns. Black's shape actually isn't very good. So you want to play this move. But we, what we want to have happen is we want to play, be able to play this move when white can't respond to it very effectively. So how do we set that up? We cut this way. Extend. Yeah. Now we play that move. And look, now it's like Atari, like white has no choice. And hey, we can play that one. That's also Atari. No choice. And now we can actually come back and squash this stone. And at this point, uh, technically white could Tanuki, but it's not a good idea. Why is it not a good idea? Start yeah, there's this, if, if white doesn't come back and play this move, there's this like super fun awesome sequence. Black and throw in at the 1-1 one, one point. Be all super cool. You gotta like sequences that throw in at the 1-1 one, one point. <laughs> you know you're going to win. And if white starts the co, we have this two-step co thing. And if black wins this, right, that's like, boom, black. This is huge. White gets nothing, black gets the corner and the outside. And the rest of white is trash. So usually white will defend against this. Usually. Uh, and once white does defend against it, oops, need a stone there, need a stone there. That also gives us Sente to come and extend from our newly minted wall. Cool. It's Joseki. Magic. You guys are not impressed tonight. I don't know why. I'm impressed. All right. Tough crowd. Apparently, there's a point where there's enough of you where you guys like become anonymous figures and don't feel like voicing your opinion. <laughs> I think that's what's happening. All right. So over here, this is also a Joseki. Anyone find a solution? Didn't get that far. It's violent though, right? Like everyone's just cut. I There's... really wanted to extend the black stone, but I couldn't. Really want to, which way did you want to extend it? Let's try. Uh, set up the ladder for the white stone. Like this way? Yeah. This way also threatens the white stone. Yeah. Uh oh. Right? Because if, if white responds over here, that also kills the white stone. Yeah. So either way. Okay, but you want to do this way? So if you do that, let's actually... Well, I like the other way better now, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, let's look at this way first. Yeah. Let's say white even just plays there. Yeah. What's your next move? Yeah, no, actually, this doesn't work because the, the wedge doesn't work for black. Yeah. Black can still move. But in this, if white, if white doesn't play here, <laughs> uh, we still have this sequence where black can live in the corner. But I... I'm not convinced it's good. <laughs> Maybe white can get a little bit more yep. if we play this way. This leaves some more Aji on the outside, though. So maybe black can come back and make amends and make something happen in the middle. Uh, so this would be more violent. Um, but either way, I want to say there's something better than extending. Take the wedge now while you can. Uh, where? Oh, take the, yeah. this wedge. Yeah. This actually doesn't do a lot. It doesn't actually do a lot. Now, do you play again? What do you do? You can start a co. You could make this co shape. This would be like co threat, so this could this would be a really like super violent, strong way of playing. <laughs> also, really, really risky and reckless. <laughs> Possible. I mean, something to consider. If you're. If yeah, if, if you want to play like the big budget Hollywood like explosion fast and furious <laughs> way of playing Go, Michael Bay. This is the way. But 
it feels like white gets to take this co first. And even though you have co threats, I mean, whoever doesn't win this co is in shambles with all these cuts. So, even though this wedge looks like to suit you, it doesn't do much. Anything else? Anything else? Wouldn't it be nice if we could just like attack the stone, make eye shape, and just be super strong? Mm -hmm. Would you guys like that at this point? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tari on the outside. Tari on the outside? That's so crude and terrible. Yeah. yeah. Who cares? So crude. Why just place here? Oops. What about attaching the white? Oh, oh, yeah. yet. Oh, the the white stone on Yes, the this is the magic stone. shape move. <laughs> <laughs> this is the magic shape move. This move threatens to descend here and capture those two white stones, right? So, white will play here. And now, uh, I, don't, I think we can get away with making one more extension first here, just for Aji. Okay. And now we can come back and do this. And this way we have eye space. And this white stone actually is kind of a burden, right? If, if white wants to run out, that's fine. We're just going to be completely solid. Um, if white doesn't do anything with it later, we can either extend or kill it off directly and have guaranteed two eyes, your choice. All sorts of fun stuff. But this is actually, even though this, this shape looks really weird, it's really strong and safe in this position. And because we still have two stones here, there's actually still some Aji around this area. You know, for instance, even without those two stones, this is, this is still basically something. Right, move like this. So this white plays over here. Ta-da, we saw moves like this. It's very painful for white later on. So, it's a weird looking shape. It is a Joseki. Uh, but, you know, these are hard variations. Not even close to finding it. <laughs> no. No? Is black Try to remember this one. All right. the, key, the key to seeing this is knowing that when you Atari or have this stone in Atari, it can't live when you have two stones on the other side of it. When you have one stone on one side and two stones on the other, when it's on the third line, it can't live. So that's, just, that's like the real shape that you need to uh, make intuitive. Okay. Okay? So, yeah. I have a question on, on that one, mm -hmm. actually. Why, why did White do that? Why did White choose that Joseki? Yeah. Because he got the corner. Just to get the corner? Usually, yeah. Or he thought you didn't know how to play the Joseki. <laughs> I mean, this is still points. Right? And it's more points in the corner. Let's say, let's say um, he doesn't choose that one. Isn't it easier to get the corner? Is it easier to do the... Yeah, you, you, you could have chosen this one, right? <laughs> yeah. There, but, but, you know, if he plays this way and makes this cut here, let's say at this point in the game when this cut actually happens, maybe they tanuki for a little while, Mm -hmm. But it's like, oh, the corner is the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. So when he plays this variation, this is to get the corner back. Mm -hmm. um, because if we play this way, uh, I mean, white can get out and everybody's fine, but there's like no corner points, right? There's like two corner points at the most for either player. So very few points in the corner of this variation. Okay, next table. All right, this one. This is, oh. This is from a distant admirer. Oh, thank you. you. I have a present from a distant admirer. If the person is watching the video, I'm going to open it later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one is kind of similar to one of the other, the, actually, the, was it the second problem we looked at? No, the third problem we looked at, right? Where we're, we're gonna run two things together in order to get some sort of benefit. We see we have a white weakness here, a white weakness here, and a white weakness here. We have white split into three groups. And we're essentially split into like two and a half because the stone is not necessarily connected to anything yet. How do we make this all work for ourselves? How do we, how do we take, get the best result? Attack. Attack. So let's just capture a stone, right? Clearly, this is the way to Oops, the wrong way. win the game. Oops, isn't this the wrong way? You are correct. This is totally the wrong way, but I'm doing this for comparisons. All right, in this version, uh, let's say black even follows up there. What does black get? What does white get? Well, white gets white a gets nice corner. 
Yeah. Fight gets a good corner. Also gets this move in. And so outside start. on both sides. Well, but White's also under attack here. Right? Yeah. And furthermore, maybe Black has to attack smaller, I guess, but it feels like maybe White can do these squirrely little things or even play here and just try to um, over-concentrate Black, give Black one big eye. Uh, black shape isn't actually that good. We're not really sure if black got a good deal out of this. Like, it's very unclear, is what I'm saying, because white's corner is very nice. So let's try again. All right, so how can we get a better result? What's your idea, John? I'd start out the same way. Start out the same way. <laughs> what would you do different? This time, I'd uh, basically concede the corner, go, go on the oh, No, I'm sorry, I got it backwards. Uh, bring the uh, bring the black stone out. No, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Black, white comes out, and then black comes out. Yeah. This way. So this is the only mildly suicidal way of playing. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't actually work. Is that only applied to the bodily or to the suicide part? It's pretty much suicide. <laughs> okay. Because these three stones can actually connect to these two stones now. Right? Because there's this Atari weakness on this stone. And meanwhile, we have three liberties to four liberties over here. So your corner is going to die. Hmm. So this is, uh, when I say mildly suicidal, I'm using the phrase mildly to imply politeness and nothing more. <laughs> well, when I look at it, I envisioned a great big fight, and I didn't see anything of politeness about it. <laughs> You're right. It's not polite. <laughs> but nor is it good. Yeah. Another idea. Atari. Atari the other one. Yeah, this way. This way is beautiful. Now, it looks terrible and stupid, and you're going to feel like an idiot when you play this. Okay? But what you're looking for is essentially free stuff. Okay, so white wants to save the stone, and white's going to run this way. Now, yes, now you block, now you play in between the two groups. And this move actually has a direct effect on these two stones. It actually weakens them quite considerably. White says, no, I want something. You say, that's great, I get more free stuff. White says, no, I don't want to die, I still need to capture something. And at this point, black can actually just come over here and basically finish off the life of these two stones directly. And this, these two stones actually help the capture of these two immensely. Without these two stones there, this group has so many more liberties and ways to run. Is, is so it would be too early to take the Atari on the top? Uh, this Atari, yes? Yeah. You want to keep this in your back pocket. Okay, that's right. Primarily, yeah. This is, this is a really good co-threat for later. Mm -hmm. um, and with the board, assuming that the board is this open, that's not that good. White, yeah, white playing here is not worth much. Yep. So at this point, is white going to take either of those stones in Atari? Nope, because white's not in Atari. No, oh, I'm sorry, the, the two black stones. Yeah, yeah, so white, white, but white, white doesn't have to take them, oh, right? Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Like if black plays here, uh, white can just make Atari again. There's nothing for black to do. Okay. Um, but black does have this Atari later, so that's more free stuff that we can get later. No reason to play it now. Okay. So okay. going after the white stone wasn't so much trying to get the corner as just to get the fight going. You want to threaten to take the corner so you can quash yeah. the other two stones. And then the fight just accidentally backs up on those other two stones. Yes, that's exactly it. And this is, this is the same kind of thing we saw in that, that third problem, right? Where, yeah. you know, white has a weakness. How do we take advantage of it? Well, if we want to attack this, let's make white run that way. And in that way we can split very, very forcefully. Um, this sort of pushing to Suji is very, very common. Like this is, this is a, a thing that comes up in a lot of pro games where a lot of pro players will, will be able to leave weaknesses like this and say it's totally, black is totally fine because black can push white into the direction that he needs when he needs it. Okay? All right, over here. This one. This one's actually a pretty classic to Suji problem. Black's in trouble, right? Black's in so much trouble. How does black get out of trouble? He doesn't? He just dies. These four stones, big trouble, right? Need to live with them. Should we start like living sequences right now? No. 
There's a shape. Is it the bamboo? <laughs> it's the bamboo joint. Yeah. Do you guys know the bamboo joint? Oh, that's such a killer move. All right, if you guys know, put some stones down, all right? If you have two stones like this and two stones like this, bamboo is super strong, can't be broken unless your opponent gets two moves in a row. What happens when your opponent doesn't have a bamboo? It could be cut. There's actually a weak point there in the bamboo. And then this is like the perfect example of that, right? If you guys lean in and look at this, after black plays this, these two white stones are dead. There is no way to save them. It's pretty amazing. Right? If white connects out, it's just Atari. If white comes out this way, it's just Atari. Connect and still an Atari. Doesn't help. If white makes this Atari, it act, white, even white's Atari doesn't matter. It's still the exact same shape. There's not enough liberties. So it just dies. That's it. So this, this is like super classic shape problem. Like super classic magical shape. Is that not cool? Yes. All right, so this is a shape that you should be looking for, like in your games, okay? When you're playing, and you see a bamboo joint like this, but it's not completely formed yet, there's a stone away. If you or the opponent has a bunch of your color stones around this, this is a weak point. This is a very, very powerful point for you or your opponent. And likewise, you guys know the mouse shape? The one like this? Like usually black is something over here. Right? If white doesn't have this, guess where the weak point is? Right there. Like super weak. You should just feel how painful that is for white. For uncompleted mouth shapes. It's just like, ah, how do I connect? Do I connect like that? That's stupid. <laughs> do I connect like that? Well, that's not an eye, nor is it liberties. Okay, good. <laughs> Are you guys quickly doing your homework over here? Just solving these? Yes. Yes, figuring them out? Sure. Whoa, hello camera. I should I'm make YouTube sick. Oh dude, they're 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 already sick. Let's do this one first. <laughs> Cross cuts. I want violence, right? <laughs> not not good enough here. How do we refute this? How do we laugh at black? <laughs> Connect? Connect what? <laughs> Oh, Atari. <laughs> yeah, I think we, I think we just cut through here. Which? Yeah, I think I think this is good enough. Uh, can we please? I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit concerned about this peep. Yeah. Um, but. You will get black the ladder. Well, black can capture these two. That is really good. Um, that's good for black actually. Yeah. Alright, maybe not quite so So white can't give away that cut yet. Yeah. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let's go back to the problem. Is that your answer? White can connect the other side. I don't think it's good at all. Oh, can you connect the other side? Let's play this one? Oh, no, no, no. It's still, it's still on Tani. Oh, oh, oh. And then yeah. when white extends mm -hmm. and black peeps. Mm -hmm. Oh, connect the, the outside. Can give, give away yeah, these, give two these two and two. just destroy the outside. Yeah. This is a uh, lots of free stuff for white here. Yeah. Like, it's actually very difficult. Right? Or even when black plays honey, white just takes this. Oh, if black takes that capture, Just squeeze. Sure, sure. That's so, good. Yeah, I think it's really sad for black. Yeah. So anyway, we're not going to cross cut. <laughs> we want to make white cry. We don't want to give white options. <laughs> So what was his first move to refute your cut? Atari. 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 So, so just play his response instead. So just does play his response to have black play here? Does that work? It worked beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> well, why does it work? What does this move do? This move looks dumb, right? It's like, three in a row, I win, tic-tac-toe. <laughs> now the cuts look better. There's two cuts this exposes. What are the two cuts? Just that one? Yeah, it exposes this one, and, and it exposes this one. So you're not only fixing your shape, you're fixing your weakness, you're actually exposing two of your opponents. This move does like three things. It must be good. Mm -hmm. Whereas, if we did a move like this... Slack. It's very slack. Okay, let's say white just plays here. Does this move expose this cut? Not at all. It's like black dice. Right? Nothing. 
Black is dice. It doesn't expose the cut. Black needs a stone here, so in the sequence he can counter Atari there. Very cool. Okay, oh gosh, running out of battery. I thought I'd plug this in right before I came here, but I have failed. Let's take a look at this one. What's going on here? You want to cut white? Yeah, white, white, white just came into our, our territory. It sort of looks like uh, we had this, and white played here, and white played there, maybe trying to make white heavy and do this. But then white was being kind of a poo-poo head and played over here. Cut it. Like this. <laughs> it's bad. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> yeah, this way is actually fine for white. Um, best move here for black is probably to connect. Um, but white has a lot of free stuff now on the outside, things like this that are kind of mean. Um, if black does anything else, uh, white just takes the corner. Like, just lives happily. Like, that's really a disaster for black. And we're not using our two stones. We, ha we have two stones over here. These are part of the problem. Put that there, put that there. All right, there we go. So, we want to fight, but we want to fight on our terms. How do we do that? Make bad shape. Yeah, we must play the worst shape to make the best shape. Because this cut actually makes use of these two stones very directly. What is white going to do here? Atari. Atari? Which way? Whichever stones he wants to keep. He wants to save these two? <laughs> All right, he tries to save these two. Fine. Does he take this peep here? Nah, you just make the tiger mouth. Let's make tiger's mouth. Let's try to live. Let's try to live. Um, yep. Uh, I think black just doesn't yeah. move over here. So white's not alive yet. And meanwhile, black is getting fifth line territory. Yep. So that's an acceptable result for black. If you get fifth line territory in any of these examples, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, this is just killer. It's just, it's just really hard, surprisingly hard for your opponent to deal with. Even though you made the dreaded empty, empty triangle, it's hard. Uh, what if white does something like this? Mm. Tries to shorten the liberties on your empty triangle. Block them off there. Yeah, it's actually not a big deal. Yeah. It's not a big deal. White gets stronger, which is fine. But, you know, worst case scenario, you still just quash the stone. You're still happy. So there's, uh, white still has no eyes. Yeah, black still has a, has a chance to kill white there, huh? Here? Yeah, I mean, white, white has to struggle for life on one of the sides. It's very, if, if, you, if you look at the situation, and you're white, and you're expecting both this and this to live, <laughs> you're a little bit of a madman. Not me, I never believe really. <laughs> Ah. Expected the bar ranking player to play the empty triangle against you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you can still but they never do. They never do. <laughs> Not when they should. Okay. You gotta listen to the proverbs. Last table. Four problems. We have seven minutes. Alright, so here, yeah, maybe, maybe. I swore I charged this. And maybe my battery's just not charging as much as I it used to. Alright, this one is the most badass problem I think I put out on the tables. Did anyone have any ideas? This is, if, if you don't believe today is magic shape day, this will make you a believer. God. Mm, not magic. Oops, wrong color. That was magic. That was magic if black is two moves in a row. It's not magic. Totally not magic. What? What are you doing? <laughs> there, was you a, there was a cut. Here. Yeah, I, yeah. You fixed the cut. Good for you. You could have you could have played this move directly and have it had the same result without having to making having to make all those exchanges. <laughs> this is not magical. Okay. This is pedantic, ordinary, colloquial. Wow. Interesting. 
<laughs> That's right. I start giving English, English lessons as part of these go Cut lectures. Cut the other way. Cut the other way. Uh, I don't think this does anything. Prove me wrong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just capture? We're just checking to see you're paying attention. Nothing. <laughs> But this is good. When you see a problem like this, or in a real game, right, you have to go through these things like say, okay, what is there? And slowly convince yourself, okay, maybe there's nothing there yet. So, so we wait, 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 wait. Oh, you want everything back for this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's smart. What about, here, let's, let's pause on this part of the board. Let's look at this area. Are there any weaknesses over here? Bamboo joint? Yes. There is a bamboo joint. Mm -hmm. However, if we play the bamboo joint directly, where does white connect? White connects this way. Yep. Yes. Because if you, yep. No cut. Ladder, dice. Ladder, dice. Okay. So this point is a magic point. We've established that, but it's not magical enough to work on its own. Not yet. Not yet. So how do you get to that? How do we make that point work? And remember, this doesn't work because there's a ladder here, right? So, do you guys all saw the ladder. What about the same as on the turn? I'm actually going to play this ladder out just a little bit. Sure. To show you exactly where all the stones would be if this ladder were to play out. Okay? I wonder if that's a hint. I wonder if that's a hint. <laughs> yeah. Right? So, there's all these sort of key points around here. All right, I'm going to take the ladder off. Yep. Okay. So, instead of playing it directly, what about just one space down? Here? Yep. No, no. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, then you just take that. <laughs> How about here? That's a magical move. That's a nice move. Because if you play here, where, do, where does white naturally want to play? Well, I'm, in this case, black has to, or white has to play this. But where does white really want to play? Above. White wants to cut this. Yeah. That's a terrible decision for white. Because now, yes, no, we have no, this ladder works. thing. And I think we can actually cut this way, too. I think this way is better. Yeah. Yes. And now this stone breaks the ladder that would have been from there. And so, because this stone actually breaks this ladder, white can't respond strongly here and has to pull back, which means we can play here. That's amazing when you think about it, right? It's like we got two moves in a row, right? Because in a game, let's say, oh, this group's in trouble, right? I, I don't have enough stuff to punish anything white over here. So I just have to come out, right? But where does white go? Fifth line territory, right? That's, I said, if you get fifth line territory in any of these problems, you're winning. What if your problem gets fifth line territory? You're not winning. You're losing. <laughs> So isn't it cool if we can play that one first, get white to play there, and then come out? It's like we prevented white from taking a move. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's magic. Two minutes. Two minutes. Oh my god. Okay. No questions. We gotta move. <laughs> Just trust me. It's magic. This one is similar in a lot of ways to these other problems we've looked at. Very similar. What do we do? I want to descend, but... <laughs> you want to descend? Which way? It's not right. Which way? Uh, there. This is correct. <laughs> <laughs> this is white trash right now. Yeah. If this stone gets captured, it's not trash. Okay, so this stone's important. If we can keep this alive, we should keep it alive. Mm -hmm. You can keep your cutting stones alive, do it. The other way, well, first, and this move also sets up this. And we mm -hmm. saw this shape earlier, right? If you Atari something on the third line and you have one stone extended, you can kill it. Yep. Right? So this is a direct threat to kill these two stones. Mm -hmm. And if you kill these two stones, what are the odds of this thing living? Zero. Like, Less. yeah, like these are going to die. So, very powerful move. What does white do in response to this? Maybe defend this yeah, way. Defend that way, yeah. All right, keep the fight going. But no worries. Dead. 
Yeah, Blacklist captures. And not only do we get this one stone, we get these two stones. Right? I guess we get these two stones and this one stone. And, it's the, like outside. We, and the outside. We already have yeah. a strong outside. And yeah, these, yeah, these white stuff isn't alive either. <laughs> so we're probably going to get Sente, because white needs a move there. And because this is so strong, hell, we can even probably <laughs> start messing with white. Get crazy with it. Quite yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe there's more proper first. Do this first, and then you can do the crazy stuff. OK? So again, set up this shape where you can have two stones on one side and then one on the other. Third line, Tari, super strong. Threatens two things at once. It's awesome. All right, last two problems. Let's do, uh oh, we're in the red now. Camera battery could shut off at any time. This problem first. What's the problem? Uh, connect. Yeah, how to connect. What if we just connect this way? <laughs> yeah, why can just, why just peep here? Yeah, just... And if we connect, it's like, ah, oh, great, we made no points. <laughs> so take the move he played instead. So take the move white plays. Yeah. Play there. Beautiful connection. Because not only does it connect this stone to this stone without white being able to cut, what else does it do? I mean, yeah, it makes this into a powerful move later. And just imagine if we have a ladder. Can I get a ladder? Actually, I don't even need the ladder. I can just play this. Even if white has the ladder, kaboom shakalaka. Yeah. <laughs> right? Atari. Capture, so like we, like there's not, there's no territory for white over there, right? After this diagonal move, it's amazing. It's, it's like March Madness, right? I use this appropriately at an appropriate time. <laughs> oh, it is April, but it's still March Madness. It's still March Madness. At the recording of this video, as far as I'm concerned, I'm pretty sure there's there's March Madness still going on. Yeah, it's tonight. Is it tonight? Finally, yeah. Who's in it? Villanova and UNC. I don't care. That's all I'm going to go with. <laughs> Neither one of those. Well, that would be too big. Exactly. I guess, yeah, all right. Sorry, this is a really cool move, right? Because it connects and it threatens to actually eat more. And also, by making this stone stronger, right, we don't even have to play all that stuff first. We, it just, you know, could set up this cut directly. It's a really nice move to seal off the territory, connect the stones, threaten the cut. Last one, we're still in the red. Battery is still going strong, even though it says we have zero minutes remaining. This battery's a champ. Such a champ. This one's not easy, though. No. This is, one, this is a problem you guys are going to yell at me for. Like, this is, this is one you're going to boo the problem, I'm pretty sure. No. <laughs> what, what did you come up with? What do you think Black should do here? Uh, I think this one? Yeah, everyone says this one. That one? Is, is that the right answer? That's not the right answer. I was thinking, no, I think, yes. Yeah, yeah I think that's, that's what I want to play. All right, so here, this one first, the problem with this, white plays here. Too Did, much. Are you going to play another move, Black? Yes. You play the <laughs> move that you should have played. <laughs> You're going to do it anyway. You should have played the move. So, like, first yeah. of all, you still have Aji. Your shape's actually not that good, right, because there's a peep here. Yeah. Um, second, if you're going to play another move, white got these points and Sente. Mm -hmm. So, white gets to have Sente, extra points, and you have defects. So you just play the move. Yeah, then the other you, move then first. You get Sente. Let's put this here. All right. So you're saying black plays here. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Are you gonna play another move? No. No. <laughs> if you don't play another move, white's playing here. Okay. So don't play there. <laughs> so don't play there. So just to. <laughs> None of these points were ever mine. I only had five black stones here, but I had zero territory. Mm. Mm. Terrible, terrible. Oops, that one's there. So, need a better solution. Oh, what, what's the problem with connecting? What is the problem? It gets captured. It gets captured. Well, it just doesn't work. It's pinched. This is the correct answer. Because even though we give up these stones, we get sente, and how about our defects over here? Zero. Yeah, we get sente and zero problems. Mm -hmm. And remember, white was going to get these points in either variation. Yeah. So even though white got six points in this variation, white was essentially getting three in the other variation. So we're sort of like taking a three-point loss to get sente. Is sente worth three points? 
<laughs> like, like for ninety-five percent of the game, yes. Not in your state. Probably more than that. Yeah. Probably, probably a higher percentage than ninety-five percent of the time. Yes. Sente is worth more than three points. If you think it's only worth three points, you've been playing Go completely wrong, and you're not thinking big enough. So that's it. In this case, I know it's kind of a terrible problem because it's like, ah, you have to actually read it out and then figure out, oh, but it just gets captured, so obviously that's not the move. If you die, it's three stones. But then the problem is like, oh, but that's actually the best solution. Like, having three stones die is actually the best outcome. That's what's weird about it. All right, so anyway, that was Magic Shape Day. I hope you all feel leaving more magical and shapely. <laughs> But this is a really, really good way to improve the speed of your reading in games. If you can identify shape points, right? And again, we went through some big ones today, like bamboo joints, right? If you can identify, these are big shape points. On the third line, right, we did this one. If you can make this Atari, that's a really big shape point. Right, these are good shapes to know. We didn't really see a whole lot of uh, mouth shape eye problems, but those are out there as well. Okay. Cool. Good job. Yay. Thank you. All right. I, uh, I'm going to shut this off. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye. We do it all together. Bye, YouTube. Oh, They're going to be shocked. Like, they didn't hear all those voices the entire time until now. <laughs>